making a chunky wool bracelet. So I made one before using the Dreamlet shuttles that I have. I actually wound them up and removed the uh, bobbin inside and it didn't turn- like it, it was- it, obviously you can see how it turned out. I think it's super cute, but it had some issues. It wasn't as smooth as it could have been. So, yes. Alright, so this is just one on each side. Cool, cool, cool. And we have the big ol' chunky tatsy tatting shuttles. So I think these will do a superb job. Oh, listen to that audio meant for video. Ooh, Ooh what's this? Red suggestions for approximate yards. Neat. Okay. I've been having the urge to do this all week to play around with it. Wow. Do these just come apart? No. Okay. So it looks like they've been like maybe. What? How were these adhered to each other? Hmm. Anyway, that's just my distraction getting me. We'll also need this button. <laughs> Where's the end? Huzzah! Come here. I also appreciate that they made the end really big, or the hole really big for easy lacing up. Hold still. Ah! Hmm. Put that all over that way so I can wind it up more easily. Come on. Easy does it. And I also apologize for not uh, streaming on Sunday last week. I was on my way back from Annapolis. So it was quite a journey and I was driving at the time of the stream. I was tempted to pull over and just stream in my car, but I was tired. I wanted to get home. <laughs> I'd been out since 7 that morning. Like, out. Not just up and getting ready. I was up and getting ready for be since before that. Um, should I try doing the other side? I do know that. Oh, I need to silence my phone. Boop. I don't need to know about a sale on Etsy. I already spent way too much money on crafting stuff. Do do do. I should probably do from both ends. Click is just so satisfying. And I think these shuttles were about six dollars each, so if you find you tend to want to work with something bigger and chunkier, as far as I know, currently this is the only way to go. I don't know of any other shuttles that use any kind of bobbin setup. Because it would have to use oops, custom sized bobbins, obviously, because these are so much bigger. Um, I, I don't know of anything else with the size capacity. Now, there could be one that's like super popular that I just don't know about, but out of everything I've read, this seems to be the only one. Imagine if you were like twice the size, if you were a 12 foot tall person, let's just say that for like easy rounding, uh, 12 foot tall, so 
Your hands would be twice the size. These would be tiny. Or I guess more average size. Because here's my dreamlet. So it's like somebody went bloop. Also, next week I might not be able to stream because I will be with a friend. She'll be starting her summer vacation. Being a teacher, she gets to finally have a bit of freedom. She loves being a teacher. I'm not going to say anything like that. But, um, but yeah, it's just you know, nice to not be grading stuff every night. Alright, so, how did I do this? It was 4, 4, and 4, and then 4, and 4. Okay. Simple and simple. So, ooh. 1, oops. 2, 3, oh wait, so technically it says 2, 3, long it needs to spin out all right let me do a pico I know these streams are usually shorter than mo how long most people stream, but I kind of really feel like the half hour mark is really comfortable. So I think I'm going to stick with that. So I figure this could be our main project on stream for a couple weeks. But I think it took me about an hour to do that one. And obviously it took us a while to load up the shuttles. And it'll take a few minutes to finish up the bracelet in terms of with the button. So, it'll be one, two, three, and so this would be the last of them. Okay, good, good, good. Three, three, four, and four. And we'll close the ring. There we go. Let that kind of spin its way out. So, hmm, how did I do this? It doesn't look like I nodded it. It looks like I just kind of jumped straight into things. So, I think, yeah, because that was a ring. So, actually, since this is longer. This way. Ooh. Mm. Is there a way to zoom out? No. Oh dear. The shuttle is so big, it's hard to get the tension I need because it's also light, because it's such a lightweight plastic. Four, 
was trying to escape. going back to a ring. Whee! Look at her go. Alright. So one, one, two, two, three, Now we need to join. Let's go ahead and try to scoop her through. Is that all of it? Okay, it looks like all of it. Good. This through the middle. Sure that up. Awesome. Okay, we did it. We got the first join done. One, oh, get back here. One, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. Oh no, I wasn't supposed to do five. Ah, undo, undo. But very gently, we don't want to disturb this fiber too much. And we are already disturbing it quite a bit with the, uh, with popping the stitch, it like rubs against itself a lot. So we gotta be very careful. We don't want this to turn into felt. Okay, so we got four there. Whew. One thing I do like about the wool is it is pretty easy to pull out. Okay, so. We go on one. Two, two, three, three, Oops, get up there, all right, come back, four, and four, let it spin out, whoosh, okay, so now, we got three of the four sections done, we need to do one more, one, one, two, two, three, three, four, and four. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Very comparable, right on point to the last one. So that's good. That's very, very good. Alright, so checking the load on these. At first blush, it seems almost the same, but when you look at the side, this has way more on it. So we're going to move this to be the one that's our center. Hello! I see somebody has joined. The the video, the, the, the channel today. How are you today? All right, so one, Ooh, come back here. One, two, two, three, three, four, four, And then we want to actually do a pico here. One, one, good, good, good. 
two, two, three, three. Let this spin out. Four and four. Is there... Okay, so chat isn't hidden. Good. Just making sure of that. So let's see, how are we on? So this one's still the heaviest, so we're going to go ahead and just continue with that one as a ring. You relax there. There we go. Two, two, three, three. Oop, I guess I should do it this way. Four, four. But then we want to join here. So, through there and up and through. Come on. Uh oh, didn't quite go to all of it. Is this all of it? No, it doesn't feel like it all. Gotta be real careful. Don't want to accidentally start felting. I'm guessing that's what it's called because of needle felting. This overworking the thread causes it to kind of do whatever that is in becoming felt. So, one must be careful. Oh, I should probably have this out so y'all can see what I'm working on, or working with rather. So a friend actually gave me this yarn along with a bunch of other stuff. Um, it was for like knitting and embroidery, but I knew I wanted to give this a try. So For tatting. And we've already made one bracelet. Well, we as in I made it a while back before I even thought to make this channel. But I've been procrastinating, because I was like, I want to get a Tatsy, ball, a Tatsy shuttle for this. Uh-oh, where did I leave off? Oh, hi, Bimmel. How are you today? Where was I? Here we go. There we were. I still want this to be visible, though. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. Hey, anytime. Um, as for how I am, I'm doing quite well. I missed last week because I was driving back from over a hundred miles away from where I live. So it was, I was on the road and... I was tempted to stop, but it had been a long, long drive and a long, long day already, so I was ready to just get home. <laughs> so, but I'm here now, and I also did end up doing that unboxing last week. So, there's that. But yes, yeah, so I'm just tatting this. Uh, yeah, but thankfully it's over. <laughs> and... Four, four. So, do you have any projects? Like, what kind of projects have you got going on? One, one. Ooh, drawing! Any particular styles of art? Three. Four and four. No, no, I miss, I miscalculated. It's actually at three. Boop and boop. Ooh, did you hear that slide? That was satisfying. Ooh, pencil drawing. So like realism or. All right, so that's. Is that still thicker? No, they're about the same now. Starting to get through this. Get a sip of water. 
All right. Ooh, portrait and landscape. That's some nice stuff. Those will always be in style. People like nature. Mm. So I'm taking the Obad uh, bardic course right now, like for like bards and druids and ovates, like that kind of path. So that can kind of tell you how much I love nature. Four. Let me get a pico. Ooh, embroidery. Embroidery is good stuff. I've tried my hand at it a few times. I am definitely not the best at it, but you can see right in here there's been some attempts at it too. I mostly dabble in cross stitch, but the main thing I've cross stitched ever was one time I got the idea that I wanted to embroider a handkerchief for a friend that also tries to live low waist and uh, so I bought a handkerchief and embroidered a kitty cat on it. A little calico. It's good. Um, I guess, I don't know, I just kind of did a little doodads. I just followed the directions. I don't I don't know. <laughs> Alright, uh, so let's flip this over. Let's see which one's thicker now. Still about the same. Okay. So. I love the, like, tangy sounding, like, click of this. Like, these shuttles have a different kind of sound to them. So nice. See that? Oh, it's so good. Way better than the little shuttles. What kind of yarn am I using? I'm using like a friend gave me a a whole bunch of like yarn and like embroidery thread and all that kind of stuff. But this is virgin wool uh, from a brand called Patternayan. I looked it up online and it doesn't seem like they exist anymore, but yeah, it's eight yards. I'm not sure what the thickness is or the weight, but this is what I've got. <laughs> so I have seen some of it on sites like Etsy and stuff like that, where people have old, new old stock, kind of like how this was. But I'm just using one, I don't know if skein is the right word, it's a really small bundle. Like, this was all the other one was able to make, and it was a whole one. So, I'm hoping that I'll be able to get a whole nother bracelet out of this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Three. That one's a little messy looking. Let's shore that up a touch. There we go. Yep, just making a little bracelet. It's nothing fancy today, but a nice little quick project. It'll probably take a couple of streams, but it's, it's chill, you know? Three... Four, four. I say it's chill, but if I go too far with any stitches, there's a chance I could run out of yarn prematurely. <laughs> so, I don't know exactly how chill it is, but everything's in sets of four. Which, depending on what culture one is from, that might be the super opposite of chill. <laughs> but, yeah, one, two, three. So this would be the last before we close this ring. Two more double stitches. There's a cricket outside. Do you hear it? Okay. Alrighty, 
So now we flip. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why he stopped. I guess he found a friend. Actually, I want to have that one open. And then one, one, two, two, three, three, four. So Bipimul asks, is it evening there? And it is. It's actually around 8 p.m., almost 8.30 actually. So the sun is setting on our summer sky, but it's nice. I like tatting on Sunday evenings. It's a way to kind of just relax and get one last good piece of just zen before the hustle and bustle of the rest of the week. In we go. Three. Give us some room to unfurl. Oh, thank you. Good evening to you too. So where do you hail from, Bibimal? One, two, three, four. Okay. And I think I have room for one, time for one more ring in our thirty-minute session. So, yeah. And then we'll finish it up during the next week. So we want to start this here. Ooh, you're in India. I've seen a lot of cool tatted pieces from India, and the culture has some really, really cool aspect. Oh, um, yes, I am from the USA. do sometimes find it a little shameful being from the USA because of how many Americans portray us. But then I look at some of the stereotypes and I'm like, yes, I am also that stereotype. I'm not all the stereotypes, but there are a few. There are a few. Yeah, for it to be 8 p.m., there's not too, too many places that are predominantly English-speaking. I guess, like, parts of Canada. Um, my geography is not the greatest, so I don't know too much of what's south that speaks English. But, yep. Yeah. So that's four. I'm sure there's countries, but okay, so we've got three sets, one, two, three sets of four, one more pico. Boop. And we'll do three more double stitches. One one, Oop. scoot this up a little, let's unfurl, whoosh, that's a total of two, three, three, four, and four. Mm, I love the sound of that sliding along the wool, it's just got such a brushy feeling. Ooh, I had a tickle in my throat. I'm gonna go ahead and furl these back up. Not furl, wind. We're winding these back up. Alright. Yes, we've made really good progress. We are. So it's 
fold this in half proper. Yeah, we're halfway done with the bracelet, so next week I'm sure we'll finish it up because it took time to tat this much. Ooh, the tickle in my throat's getting bad, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end the stream. Thank you for watching and tuning in. See you next week. Bye-bye!